What is a smoke? A visible suspension of carbon or other particles in air, typically one omitted from a burning substance. Hey, don't take it too seriously. The substance could be the burning of bushes in your neighborhood to the wood Iyasikira uses to prepare food. In all, a smoke is a smoke. We're surrounded by all manner of smokes, from car exhaust to grinding machines and even your generating set. However, the smoke that I care to talk about is the one from the end of a lit cigarette, marijuana, shisha, pots, etc. According to Wikipedia, smoking is a practice in which a substance is burned and the resulting smoke is breathed in to be tasted and absorbed into the bloodstream. It is said to be a form of recreational drug use being practiced by over 1 billion people globally, majority of whom are in developing countries. Quite often, reasons provided for indulgence include peer pressure, escape from pressure, stress of life, or just pleasure seeking, and even what some have called social smoke. I smoke weed, I smoke cigarettes. I don't think there's any benefit in it, but I just smoke. There are some time when you're distressed, you just want to smoke and it's just, it's just it. Just for the fun of our team, but health-wise, there is no, it doesn't have any benefit. When I'm upset and um, I want to have a private time to reason, and whenever I want to smoke, I like smoking in a very private way. Indeed, life can be hard, pressures can really be heavy burdens to bear, but so is addiction. Why do people resort to smoking? For certain people, they only smoke when they are with some certain individual. So that is the trigger. For certain people, they smoke when they are going through certain emotional feelings. So those are the triggers we help them to understand. So don't forget that when, when you start smoking, it, it alters your um, normal brain chemical composition is altered already. So, so what happens is the person may not be able to objectively find the solution to his problem. So what we do is first of all to, identify, to help the person identify the trigger. Whatever the trigger is, it could be a friend, it could be some situations, it could even be your wife at home that, that makes you just feel so bad that you want to go into such so what we want to do is we want to identify the trigger and we want to avoid the trigger there's what we call abc of behavior antecedent behavior consequence antecedent is what happens before the behavior occurs so now the behavior is the smoking or, or the addiction now so an antecedent is what triggers this what happens that led into this so what we want to help you to do is to help you to identify the antecedent, how it started, what the triggers are, and how to avoid the triggers. As of the year 2012, WHO estimated about 13 million smokers in Nigeria with over 16,000 deaths attributable to smoking. There seems to be a social acceptance for smoking as it is no longer done in secret. Nigeria in the 90s and of course early 2000s had frequent ads on radio and television warning against smoking and it is important to know that some western states are also raising the age limit from 18 to 21 all in a bid to discourage smoking. Addiction to smoking is what will constitute a focus at this juncture. What is smoking addiction? A mental health issue? If so, is such a person dangerous? When you go into this, this habit, for instance, your normal brain composition is altered. Exactly. You know, what we don't know, people, people just believe that it's only nicotine that we have as chemical inside this substance. But apart from nicotine, there are over 400 chemical substances inside this substance. I mean, inside this, this core drug or whatever, I mean hard drug or substance, whatever it is, so many names that we call them. So what happened is out of this 400, we have over, over 50 that have been found to result into so many side effects. 
even physical side effects, I mean, that, that we all know of lung cancer and heart diseases. Now, when we now talk about mental health implications, one of them that research has found over time is what we call, um, of course, there, there are so much debate on it, schizophrenia and depression. So there is a link between schizophrenia, depression, and substance use. Now, we know, of course, so what's schizophrenia? It is what a layman knowledge, I mean, a layman calls um, the mad people on the street. And then we now talk about depression also. So these are some of the links, I mean, that researchers have found out that are clearly related with substance use. And then another one is suicidal ideation. We found that because it alters, it makes you lose some touch with reality. So the person starts uh, having smooth problems, having, um, start having thought of killing his, is ourself. In fact, we've seen some of them who have had the, I mean, ended up killing themselves and committing suicide because the whole substance has triggered them. And, and they don't forget, somebody who's when addicted has a vulnerability um, towards aggression, becomes very aggressive, you know, um, and also triggers some kind of anger and upset. So they, are, so they may really be dangerous to live by or to live with. From gatherings in twos to hideouts, and even your highbrow neighborhoods. Smoking constitutes one of the most common sites today. Matter of fact, it is done unashamedly, or seemingly so. Question is, should deeds be shameful? Should it not? We spoke to a transporter on the prevalence of this within their circle. They believe that when they smoke, they don't have power to walk. You understand? Because that is what they believe on it. The smoking by other people, they believe that when they smoke, now level have changed, the two, their eyes have changed. In our own seminar, in our state council, we don't want driver, we don't want any doctor to be smoking or drinking when he's driving. That's why we are here. Research shows that 10% of youths who become hooked on nicotine are addicted within two days of first inhaling from a cigarette, and 25% of them are addicted within a month. Is there any help for someone who's seeking to quit smoking? So the first thing I just want to tell you is acceptance is key. Yes, it has happened. So regrets or, or trying to say, why did I find myself into this? It's not going to help out. It's to accept the fact that now I need help and I need to stop it because you can't stop it abruptly. In fact, there is an, an issue that trying to stop smoking I and mean stop addiction at once. So what we call cold talking is even more dangerous because you will experience more withdrawal symptoms that have were deadly. So the first thing is just to accept that now there is a problem. I'm into this. Then I need help. It is definitely a fight, the plight to go clean after addiction. But is it worth it? From lowered risk of diabetes to lowered risk of cancers to better heart and lung health, kicking back on smoking guarantees food tasting better, good breath, and of course, your sense of smell returning to normal. Redemption from other damaging effects on your looks, like premature wrinkling of your skin, gum disease, and tooth loss. When the pressure comes, choose your high.